Hello, this is uh, MC Studios here. I'm going to do a tutorial on how to um, boost the levels of your audio inside of Logic. Currently I'm using uh, Logic Express 9 right now, but Logic Express 9 and Logic Pro right now are basically the same thing. There's only a couple more you know, plugins that are different um, on what's on the difference between the softwares. But anyways, um, what we have here is a huge, massive project here that um, my band has been working on for the past, um, you know, two months, and that's including recording and you know mixing and mastering everything. Um, we got obviously the blue files or the audio files and the green files or the MIDI stuff. So we got a considerable amount of MIDI, and a lot of audio here. So um, the first technique that I would so stress upon is compressors and limiters now they're so so important almost all of these have a compressor and a limiter on every single one of these tracks you know so I mean they're super super handy to have and you need to you need to put them on there so that the audio is not crazy and bouncy and everything now another super great technique that I figured out recently was uh, sending these files these audio audio strips to certain buses okay so in this particular song there's basically two parts there's the you know techno part and then there's the rock part where it's completely different kinds of sound so the first part I I have two submixes the first submix I have is for all the instruments so I send I naturally send all the instruments to bus 10 so you, as you can see there's all these instruments here and they're all going to bus 10. So all these all these individual instruments have compressors and limiters on them already. But what I did here is I fine-tuned the compressing and the limiting here so that you know I could get the right sound. And then for the second uh, the second mix submix that I did was the uh, bus 11. So and that was basically all of the vocal tracks. So, um, you know, there's there's some here, I and mean, they're they're a little bit out of place. But um, so basically, what this does is what you when you're trying to boost your audio, one of the main problems you have is when you compress the entire, you know, output one and two, everything is just you know it's all conforming over the beat and it just doesn't sound good and you hate it. But what this does is it it separates the compressing and the limiting to different parts so that it doesn't affect the vocals at all and that was the biggest problem that I was having is it was going is cutting in and out of the vocals and it just did not sound very good it was just really a muddy muddy bad bad sound that you just really didn't want to have so that that is basically what you need to do with that so basically you need to usually a standard track here as you can see would have a stereo out, you know, and, and this would go straight to the output one and two. But what you do is you go and make a bus, make a new bus, and you see this bus 10, it's instrument sub uh, one, and you, you do that, and you put it on there, and basically you use that to send to this, this thing it's basically a group of a group of audio and it all goes to this and then from this it goes to the stereo out so you can do all you can do a ton of effects all in that on those certain tracks that are going to bus 10 um, it's a super important technique and I basically since the the song was um, two parts I had the first instrument submix and the first vo vox submix and then I had the second vox submix and then the second instrument submix because they're completely different sounds and you need to you know change it however you need to or whatever without having to go into automation and do all that stuff manually you can just do it this way so the biggest now let's let's get down to to getting it loud okay and this is what we're what we're trying to do basically okay so what I've had as a trouble as as a big problem in the past is trying to get my music to the DB level that most songs are today. 
and I've been super frustrated with it because you just can't do it. It's it's literally impossible. You have to send it to a you have to send it to a mastering company and pay them money to do that just to get it so so that it's louder and it works. But literally last night I stumbled ac across the the way to fix that. So basically, what you want to do for this to work is you want to make sure that all your audio in the output one and two is not clipping. So as you can see it's playing it's not clipping and then you go to the you go to the rock part it's clipping a tiny bit but you can you can let it do that a little bit but don't don't do anything over one or one db in the red zone because after that then it starts to mess up but when you're exporting it as a wave definitely make sure the output is is um is not clipping it's not going in the above you know zero dbs so basically once you have that done once you mix everything once you get it all compressed and it's it stays in the same spot what you need to do is you you find this master track okay now you can see it down here all right you can see it in any mix there's a master here all right what you want to do, you want to take it, push it up to, to plus 6 dBs, okay? And then from there, you can basically just bounce it and as a wave, and it should be much louder. I mean, I know it seems so simple, but the biggest, the biggest thing you have to do is to make sure you get a right compressed and limited mix before you you do any of this other stuff because that's the most important part that there's no there's no you know audio waves that are just popping out that are really you know you know just just being annoying or whatever you just have to compress it down limit it every single track and do especially do these submix because they help a ton i mean i wish i knew about this before but they they help so much and it's just it's really an amazing thing that you can do so definitely do that, and I hope this video helps you turn your music much louder. It may be a couple dBs quieter than uh, most most songs, but compared to what you would have before, it is much louder. It really is. The difference is great. It's fantastic. Thank you so much for watching. This is MC Studios. Goodbye.